appreciate uh, your time. Um, I just want to uh, try and tease out two things here. One is the question of um, the local authority workers that are the subject of the SLA and the unions will be in later on to talk to us about it. Um, you say you'll sa save 70 million a year by streamlining this. So for the four years that you're trying to cut short the SLA, that would be 280 million. And yet, at the same time, you are using contractors. You're using a lot of contractors. And our experience as uh, public reps has been that the cost of those contractors has been very, very high. So the contracting out of the metering, for example, was in the region of 600 million. Um, and there was a lot of controversy at the time about the cost of that and how those contractors were, were, were awarded, etc. So I'd like to try and tease out how you balance the use of contractors against the uh, cut and short of the, of the service level agreement. Um, one of my best friends is one of the most senior people in Dublin City Council Waterworks, and he knows the system inside out, back to front, upside down. And when he goes, a lot of uh, very important knowledge, information and experience will, will go with him. Um, but I know he will not move across to Irish Water because, like, like most of those workers, they're terrified uh, that their, their permanency as uh, you know, public servants, their pensions, etc., will not uh, be carried over with them. And they have every reason to be worried about that, um, particularly since the government don't seem to be giving us a referendum on the question of uh, keeping water in, in, in public hands. Um, but I had recently caused to go in depth into the question of what you're talking about there, getting the support of elected members. <laughs> I had a visit to my office uh, from a contractor with yourselves asking me, would our reps, our locally elected reps, councillors and uh, TDs involved in the campaign um, on, uh, on the water charges, be willing to cooperate with you guys in an attempt to meter all the homes in a certain uh, DMC district meter, or DMA district metering area in Crumlin um, in order to detect the leaks. Now, um, he went in detail and showed me plans and all the rest of it, but my argument back to him, and I'd like to put it to you, Mr Grant, if you want to win the confidence of the public, the confidence of the public reps, and work with people to change the whole nature of how we treat water in this country, how we work with, the, with each other to, to um, ensure this precious resource is protected, we stop the leaks, etc. Would it not be wise, in the first instance, for Irish Water to fix all the leaks that they can, that exist outside of people's homes, not the leaks at their homes, but right across the network on the main roads? Uh, you mentioned there a figure of 70 kilometres of mains. I don't know if that's just Dublin or if it's everywhere in Dublin. So would it not be wise to fix them first? and then turn around to the public and say, look at the marvellous job we, we've done. Instead of 36% leaks as it is currently, we've reduced it down to uh, 7%, which is, according to your own statistics, your own company's statistics, is roughly uh, the amount of leakages that you, uh, you um, relate to household use. Instead of that, what you're doing is you're coming into the areas, fixing the big leaks on Bangor Road and Ockavan Road, and at the same time, asking us as public reps to work with the communities to say it's okay for them to put a metre outside your house for 10 days so that they can suss out if there's a leakage in your house or not. What do you think ordinary people are going to immediately perceive is the attempt here? The attempt here is not just to detect the leaks, I accept that that's bona fide, but it's also to try and establish who can we bill for excessive usage when we start billing them next year. And, and here's a problem because the, the Act, the Irish Water Act that, that informs what you uh, determine as excessive use of is deliberately ambiguous. It's deliberately ambiguously designed so that we don't know uh, or we can't determine what excessive usage is, how you're going to determine who has excessive usage. But a programme like you're proposing to do in Crumlin would absolutely not get the trust of the people. And I suggest to you that you need to win the trust of the people and their elected representatives before you would embark on trying to metering homes again. That is lethal, and that will certainly not win hearts and minds of people uh, in, in the bigger communities. Certainly around Dublin, I imagine it's the same in Cork. Yep, um, so I think this is uh, quite a, a dangerous road to be going down. Um, and I know we're here to talk about the SLAs, but I also know that 
the local authority workers will not install meters. They just refuse to do it. And I want to ask you, and, 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 and to try and an, uh, answer me honestly, is one of the reasons you want to cut short the SLA is because if you take them out of local authority employ, they then will have to uh, implement the metering programme that you want to deliver rather than something that's more sensible. I know the meters will not stay in the ground, but while they're in the ground, they will be used to detect uh, what you, you or uh, the minister describe as excessive usage, which is still really very ambiguous for ordinary people out there. Mr. Rand. 